This is England's most environmentally friendly golf club. Bosses here have cut the use of chemicals. They're investing in wind, solar and ground source heating. Plastic tees are banned. They've reduced water and energy use. They've changed collectors to ensure more waste is recycled. And large parts of the land are being developed as local wildlife havens. Jason Pheasant is the manager here and believes more places should be following suit. I think there's a lot of complacency within golf clubs because I think, you know, they think we've got 100 acres, we've got a load of trees, we've got a load of flowers, that's all we need to do. We're, we're biodiverse um, but there's so much more to do but actually when you start scratching the surface it just throws a whole host of things up that you just wouldn't think about um, and once you start it's really an endless thing. But there is a sense of frustration here at the golf club they're not able to apply for grants for eco initiatives and in fact were recently turned down for one and told there is no criteria for making a golf club eco-friendly. They say attitudes like that are stopping other tourism and destination businesses from becoming more green. We have something like 50 golf clubs in Devon I think there are 2,000 in England, so this is a pioneering golf club. Of an application of chemical can be up to seven, eight hundred pounds. So if we can reduce that, by that we work on plant health rather than chemicals. You know, golf um, generally tends to be a destination venue. You come to a golf club because you want to play golf. So there is a very distinct journey here and back. And in a summer, you know, we can see a uh, footfall of, you know, upwards of 3,000 people per week. So potentially that's 3,000 cars on the road just to come to Big Breed to play golf and then go home again. So we're trying to also talk to the members more importantly, because they're, they're the majority of, of, of uh, people that visit us, to try and instill in and, and uh, explain to them the importance they play in what they can do to reduce car share you know if, if you live in the same village or town and you've got the same tea time booked or one just after or just before car share and and um you know that will make such a big big difference